everybody. I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning into AMTV Alternative Media Television. It is Monday, March 23rd, 2015, and the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank is taking over. With first movers, the United Kingdom, Britain, followed by France, Germany, more U.S. allies soon to come. In fact, over the weekend, the IMF, the International Monetary Fund and World Bank, Christine Lagarde, I've heard some people call her Kristen, but I'm pretty sure it's Christine Lagarde or Kristen, doesn't really matter, expecting to join with this Asian Economic Union, the AIIB, the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. Again, a direct counterpoint to the long-dominated, Western-backed, U.S.-backed IMF and World Bank, which has been the loan shark for decades. And the AIIB, really, in becoming the new loan shark, will also become the new global reserve currency, a move away from the dollar. You see, this is no longer conspiracy theory, folks, anymore. It's no longer a theory. It's no longer the tinfoil hats telling you this is going to happen, that the U.S. dollar will lose its reserve status. This is an actual fact. It's coming from the Wall Street Journal. It's coming from CNBC. It's coming from Forbes. And the United States of America doesn't like it. The United States of America is losing its grip on power. Now, again, I've covered this extensively. We talked about this last week with the move from the Fed. You know, this illusion of markets that they've created, these 0% interest rates, the trillions of dollars of money spent, these huge moves in our currency market. In fact, for those of you that are currency traders, and I'm not a currency trader, the currency markets move in, I believe, pips, one one hundredths of a percent. Uh, per day. Those are big moves. We're not seeing pip movements, one one hundredths of a percent, on a daily basis. We've been seeing full percentage point moves in the market. The dollar collapsed over the past several days. Post the comments, after it's been moving parabolically, post the comments coming from Janet Yellen and the Federal Reserve. These are currency movements. These are currency wars, unlike things that we've ever seen in history. Uh, we just saw this Recently, with the Swiss shock, with the Swiss franc jumping some 20% overnight. Now, that, of course, is an example. It's a microcosm of what's coming to the United States. But I don't think that our currency here in the U.S., I don't think the U.S. dollar is going to be jumping. I think it's going to be a U.S. collapse as these investment infrastructure banks, like the AA. AIIB move away from the US dollar as the world reserve currency. And you see how our allies, maybe our former allies, are showing their allegiance with first mover, the United Kingdom, joining the AIIB. You see, the United States, everybody knows it's over here. Everybody knows it's over in America, but Americans, but the dipshits that live here. Every other country is jumping ship. The rats are leaving the nest. And everybody here in America with their iPads and Apple iPods or whatever they are, are just totally dazed and confused. Think everything's okay. Think that we're actually in a recovery, even though we're not. I mean, just pull a chart. The U.S. national debt has doubled over and during the administration of President Barack Obama. I'm going to show you a chart on this screen to show you how it's moved parabolically. Parabolically. It's going to come to an end. Total debt has skyrocketed. The real unemployment rate is sky high. Men in their 30s and their 40s and their prime working years aren't working. The economic conditions here in the United States are horrible. It's only the dipshits that live here that think somehow the Ponzi scheme is going to continue. We even have major investment bankers calling these Wall Streeters SOBs, saying that they have to pay that there's got to be some kind of consequences to this high frequency trading that rips through markets on a nanosecond basis that slugged off $10 billion worth of market cap on Apple stock last week post the Federal Reserve move. Again, what's happening to asset classes right now, most notably the currency market, this currency war that we're engaged in, not normal. It shows you just how vulnerable the entire system is. All asset classes are. U.S. Treasuries, they're not a safe haven anymore. It's not a safe place to be. U.S. bonds. It's no longer backed by the full faith and credit of the United States, which is backed by nothing. You see, all the rats are leaving the ship. They're going over to the AIIB. Again, this swift change in power, which is no longer a crackpot conspiracy theorist 
lunatic sitting in a corner with a tinfoil hat idea. Just happens to be the reality. Just happens to be the cold, hard facts. And again, everything we're seeing in the global financial system today is not normal. This bid on bonds, this bid on stocks, a tripling in the Dow Jones, S&P 500, the NASDAQ at all time highs. What we're seeing in the currency markets themselves, not normal. What we're seeing in oil, not normal. None of this normal. Parabolic shifts in debt, in, that, in the national debt and total debt, not normal. What do you think happens to parabolic shifts? Do you think it just keeps moving parabolically forever? It just moves in a straight line. Everything's freaking glorious. You know, we'll just buy more iPads and iPods and it'll just work out. Yeah, that'll, Apple's going to lead America out of the doldrums. Yeah, that company is going to lead sovereign nations from the depths of hell. That's all we need. None of this is normal, and it's going to end in catastrophe. Again, I'm not a crystal ball reader. I don't have a crystal ball. I can't predict when it's going to happen, but I know this. You better be preparing yourself. You better have your eggs in the right basket. You better not be betting on this U.S. dollar to bring us out of this depression to bring us out of these shenanigans. It's not gonna work. Every major US ally, maybe former ally, every country is moving away from our currency. Keep in mind, oil also traded in US dollars. Another reason we're seeing this price collapse. Another reason we're living in this depression. And now major countries, major probably former allies, like the United Kingdom, France, Germany, etc., all jumping on ship, all jumping on board. The Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. Look it up. I'm not the only one reporting on it anymore. It's Forbes, it's CNBC, it's the Wall Street Journal. And they're now working on establishing the new world reserve currency. And guess what? It's not American, it's Asian. That's right. I'm Christopher Green. Get this video out everywhere. Make it viral, hard hitting it in your face, and click the link below to support our sponsor. Please check out our sponsor, Lear Capital. That's Lear Capital, the precious metals leader. Buy gold, buy silver, do it today.